Gimpy coming back. May have hurt that ankle. Hayden's open, and that's a rough start for Calipari. And Kentucky already 5 nothing. South Carolina. South Carolina. Starting. Well, they take advantage of the five on four break. Kentucky running offense earlier right now with Oscar Shibway away from the basket. Yeah. He just kept himself down low against Alabama and never came off that low block. Point of emphasis in the shoot around today. A lot less dribbling, moving the ball, making it a hot potato as Wallace, who had a brutal game against Alabama, knocks down his first. Johnson and Carter in the backcourt. Brown's the leader on this team. G.G. Jackson is their best player. Brown in the lane, too strong. Sheway gets his first board. To see from Kentucky, this is a South Carolina team with a brand new coach, good coach, really good guy, Lamont Paris. Well, my eyes are going to Oscar Shibway, Ravi, right off the bat. The first time that this young man has faced any adversity as a Kentucky Wildcat was Saturday at Alabama. What does Oscar Shibway do in this game to reestablish himself as one of the best players in this league? One of the big challenges Saturday was dealing with Charles Pediaco. What does South Carolina do? They start a seven-footer in Josh Gray. Generally doesn't start tonight. He does. Aiden Brown takes it to the hole. Damian Collins with a block. And Collins playing. Jacob Toppin is not available. He hurt both his leg and his shoulder. The shoulder is what's causing him to be out tonight. Chico Carter, who wears two, is the best shooter on this team. And just like that, three-pointer is good. Michi Johnson played his ball at Ohio State before transferring in. Here's Collins' baseline. He went up high. That shot was blocked by Gray. We go the other way. And Collins, a little gimpy coming back. May have hurt that ankle. Hayden's open. And that's a rough start for Calipari. And Kentucky already 5 nothing. South Carolina. South Carolina. Starting. Well, they take advantage of the five on four break. Kentucky running offense earlier right now with Oscar Shibway away from the basket. Yeah. He just kept himself down low against Alabama and never came off that low block. Point of emphasis in the shoot around today. A lot less dribbling, moving the ball, making it a hot potato as Wallace, who had a brutal game against Alabama knocks down his first Johnson and Carter in the backcourt Brown is the leader on this team G.G. Jackson is their best player Brown in the lane too strong she gets his first board Livingston attacked Brown got in his way yeah, we saw that same lackadaisical high school drive by Livingston at Alabama just got eaten up by defense hand defensive hand pressure by South Carolina Brown good ball fake and a little handoff to Gray who puts it up and in boy what a real good start for Hayden Brown the grad transfer from the Citadel Grabby Kentucky has issues on both ends of the floor to me their biggest issue right now is on the defensive end this is the worst defensive team in the SEC in SEC play so far yeah this is yeah. a bad Sign to Damian Collins who got the start tonight from Toppin limping off the floor which brings Lance Ware onto the floor Well, Hayden Brown is a thirsty driver And a shot fake that Collins just completely bites on frees up Brown to drive for the easy dish well, No Jacob Toppin tonight and now Collins goes out And Gigi Jackson 23 for South Carolina one of the top scorers in college basketball in the freshman class Who's Kentucky had to match with him going forward? Sheeway, tough shot. Yeah, follow it. And over the back, Livingston's going to get the foul. He's a bad shot by Oscar Sheeway. I mean, a face up 15 footer straight up and down is in his wheelhouse, but a fadeaway 10 footer is not. Psychologically, the impact that Sheeway is dealing with off of the game when he was completely destroyed. Yeah, right. You don't know. I mean, he's never been knocked in the nose and embarrassed on a basketball floor like he was at Alabama in a Kentucky uniform. So how does he respond tonight is a huge question mark for Kentucky going forward. Juju Jackson and Livingston, they had a huge high school rivalry last year. That time Livingston with the block. 
Those two got at each other pretty good on the high school floor last year on the runner with the left hand. No good. Shibway. Rebound right back up. That's no good. And Brown all the way to the basket. That's up and in. And a lot of points in the paint early for South Carolina. If you cannot match Hayden Brown's physical play, you're in trouble. I mean, the kid's not a high-volume scorer, but he's awfully good in the body contact plays, and he's won all of those so far. I love this kid. He already has his master's degree in leadership from Citadel. Talking about 10 right there in red. And you talk about lack of transition defense and half-court defense. That's just a pitiful start on the defensive end for Kentucky on their home floor. So Brown went to the Citadel, and, of course, his head coach now was at Chattanooga before this, Jimmy, so he had seen Brown play in the conference forever. The two met and uh, had lunch, and that's where Brown really introduced Paris to the community at South Carolina. What did they What did they eat when they met? A duck sandwich. <laughs> I knew you knew the answer when you asked the question. What I love about Hayden Brown, Lamont talked about him today. He said he listens to me through the ears of a coach. Man, I, I love how he put that. He doesn't listen to the coach through the ears of a that's right of, of a high school coach or a teammate or a freshman struggling. He, he he hears the game and sees the game through coach talk. Man, that's of great value uh, and brutal. The free throw shooting's been another problem. You've highlighted the bunch. Free throw shooting's been another one, and Wheeler unable to convert. Benjamin Bozeman's Verdonk is now working with Shibwe. It's another big body. And Johnson to the rack. Wheeler got him on the arm. Right, right. If you cannot guard the ball, you can't win ball games in this league. And that was, that was not much offense ran that time. Just a one-on-one -on -one move up top. And you're going to see just a little bit of a foot fake. And Wheeler bites on it and has to reach at the end. And a good try by Michi Johnson. That is his game, this kid on the free throw line. He's only a 30% three-point shooter. Don't take his foot fakes. His foot fakes are to set himself up for a jump shot. It's to set himself up for a hard drop. Second leading scorer on the team at just over 12 a game. Gigi Jackson's just under 16 a game. A real interesting start, Jimmy. Coming off of that loss, there was an intense nature to their practices. Calipari felt pretty good. He's saying all the right things about turning this thing around, but you don't have Toppin. C.J. Frederick is available. And we'll see if the sharpshooter transfer from Iowa is going to get into the game. Largest deficit Kentucky has overcome this season is six. They're down nine. They're too close. And he uses Livingston as the outlet. He pops in the paint. That's no good. And the rebound ripped away. That's Davis who's into the game now. Zachary Davis, the freshman. And gained rebounding by the visiting team. Limiting Kentucky so far to one and done on the offensive end. Kentucky one of six to start the game. Jackson fade away. Money. Now he's really good off the bounce, Jackson is, for a 6'8 kid that should be a senior in high school. I talked about a lot of issues for Kentucky. It all starts on the defensive end of the floor for this team. The ball's not there. The urgency, the fight is not on that end of the floor. I know they have issues offensively. But you talk to coaches in this league, and they're saying right now, Kentucky cannot guard at the level that they used to. Now the crowd trying to get this club righted off of that horrible loss to Alabama. They're down 13-2 to a South Carolina team that doesn't score a lot. Wallace hard to the basket. He lays it up and lays it in. One well, of the different ways to take the ball through traffic. Case and Wallace is really good at it. Sometimes you have to high dribble, sometimes low dribble. Covered up like a running back from Georgia last night. Case and Wallace, he has it all. Damian Collins has returned. He's cleared to play. He looks like he's going to check back in. And when he does check back in, he's going to be joined by Antonio Reeves as well. Loose ball on the floor. Ware went up to try to block it, but instead that putback is up and in. And another point in the paint. They're closing in on double digits in the paint. We've always been told, Jimmy, that defense is as much about attitude and effort as it is about ability. Yeah, it's effort, it's fight, it's it's toughness, it's it's pride. It's like he's got to get Oscar Sheway going offensively. He was a no-show at Alabama because he was covered up with Link. Let's have a and good move. He, he throws it up with his left hand. He lost the defender, Verdun. Now he's really good against an equal-sized defender. 
But 6'11", 7 feet can take him out of the game, just like Betty Aqua did at Alabama. He was exposed on Saturday in Tuscaloosa. Big swing and a good one. Three ball. Boy, good start and a really good shot from G.G. Jackson, the freshman out of Columbia, South Carolina. How about the zip on the pass, though, to find the backside bomb by G.G. just sitting in that far corner. And a Carolina team that got punked, I mean punked, by Tennessee on Saturday on their home floor has a ton of confidence early in Rupp. Well, you use the Tennessee-Kentucky comparison defensively. We're seeing it play out. Tennessee shut them down. They've got 18 early points here. And there's a loose ball. Shibwe has it. On the ground it goes. And Reeves good hustle that time by everybody. Wallace was on the floor. He had it. Ravi, I played for a Hall of Fame coach, Eddie Sutton, and, and defense was his calling card. The, the five things you always have to be able to do, can you guard the ball? How are your closeouts in a defensive rotation? Are you hard to scream? How's your rim protection? Not only block shots, but taking charges, and then your defensive board play. And man, those are five areas right now that K Kentucky is average or below for the most part that you've got to get fixed in a hurry. Getting ready to run through this gauntlet called the SEC this year. Yeah. Gray and Brown back on the floor. Reeves in, so is Collins. Shibwe, high arcing baseline shot, no good. And perhaps because of the way Betty Ako played him, you're going to see Shibwe shoot a little bit more from away from the basket. And, and I trust his open 15 foot jump shot. Kobe Wright, one into the game, wide open, Brown, three, that goes, wow! That's what happened. Wide open, Johns. That's what happened. One guy makes one, then the next one, because defensively you're not alert and in tune. And now everybody for South Carolina has seen a big basket. What a start for the Gamecock. Shocking in rough arena. It sure is. Wheeler uses the left, and he softly lays in off the window. It is shocking. Coming off of that loss to Alabama, down 21-8 to South Carolina. Bump, crowd thought he walked with it. No call from the three officials. And Brown, they're going to get the foul on Kaysen Wallace. Again, that kid's a thirsty driver. You get the ball up top here, freeze it, guys, hold it right there. Then Damien Collins is in a world of hurt because his guy's going to space out to the corner. And watch what happens. Again, if you can't guard the ball, the entire defense is put in a bind. Mm. And Collins with a late closeout on a guy that's not a great three-point shooter. Hayden Brown, 22% on the year, but to my point, everyone's making shots now for South Carolina. Gray, Shibway up in the air. No foul on Shibway, instead a travel call on Gray. Looks like he got fortunate because South Carolina put Oscar Shibway in a ball screen, which he was awful defending ball screens at Alabama. Self passed it. Wheeler trying the same thing again, and he threw it right over the backboard. He said, I was fouled. There is no whistle. Man, this feels a little bit like Georgia TCU last night. Yeah, they ran through that defense. Why is it so easy for the Carolina players to get right by Kentucky defenders? You got to guard the ball, Rabbit. Right? That, that you can't lunge. Again, just another drive attracts two. Tough shot. Loose ball. Goes to South Carolina. Brown, open three. Too strong, and that time it's ripped down by Reeves. They need some magic here. They need to dunk something to get this crowd into it and slow down South Carolina. The Gamecocks have been outstanding. Body bump there, no call. Reeves will get fouled. South Carolina, Jimmy, is coming to Rupp. They've made their shots. They've established a little presence, and they're banging bodies. 21-8. The difference from the last ball game against Tennessee and what has happened tonight. The first half versus Tennessee, they only scored 21 points. They got 21 right now with 11.34 to go. And the, the other part about this equation for Kentucky right now, Kentucky, Ravi, they are no longer feared in the SEC. A 7-8 team rolling in here right now has all the confidence in the world they can take down Kentucky. Yeah, all in two in the conference. Frederick is in the game, the sharpshooter. Reeves pulls up, and that's good. Offense out of the break. 
Got to knock down those pull-up jump shots from the elbow as much as Kentucky runs their dribble drive offense. C.J. Frederick changes how you have to defend Kentucky now with him on the floor. Reeves starting a taller G.G. Jackson. And Sheepway leaning into Gray. And not the shot that South Carolina wanted. The offensive rebound put back up and in. What an effort, Jacory Wright. The fourth offensive rebound in this game so far for South Carolina. 11 to 4. Advantage on the glass so far for the visitors. And that's deflating after your defense from Sheepway and a bad shot from Gray. Well, that's the last thing on the checklist that I had up there. Can you, can you clean up the defensive boards and in the possession? Shibwe fires again. That one's in. Again, catching the ball, facing the basket, straight up, straight down. He's really good right now. 15 to 17 feet. If you're South Carolina, though, you live with that shot. You kind of got to leave lists all over the house. How people do their errands and things. Are you a list guy in the house, too? Well, I'm not big on stats, first of all. Let's clear that up. Right. <laughs> but I do get a lot of things handed to me at home of, of things to do, yes. <laughs> so you've been on the receiving end of the list. Another Brown, three. On high Arthur, that's off. And Wheeler, rare opportunity. South Carolina's got four fast break points. Kentucky doesn't have any. And that three misses. All of those garnet jerseys for South Carolina running to the paint and building out. Building the wall, stopping the ball, not allowing anything at the rim for Kentucky's transition offense. Brown into Collins, and he fell away. That's no good. Shibway comes down with a rebound. South Carolina coming back to earth after that red-hot start. That's just not a fast, aggressive push by Kentucky off of a stop. Collins. Bad shot. Bad, bad shot, hard shot, early shot. Ball never got swung. Again, another shot that South Carolina wants Kentucky to take. Kentucky guarding themselves a little bit in this game so far. Carter, mismatch with Collins on him. Brown, seven on the shot clock. Good Ripped hit. away. Severe Wheeler. And a blow by, and he missed, but the offensive put back by Reeves, who had 20 in that game against Alabama. Really good hot hands and gap, strong gap defense by Severe Wheeler to get the crowd into it just a little. First year coach, Lamont Paris, signaling which play he wanted. A lot of teaching going on in his first year. Longtime assistant at Wisconsin. And that ball knocked away and out of bounds. It'll be Kentucky basketball. The hands of Wheeler and Reeves. Yeah, there's a strong gap attack trying to win the elbow, but this time Kentucky wins the elbow with a hot hands of severe Wheeler. Appreciate the hustle play by Reeves to be there. South Carolina doesn't run off the mistake. I'm telling you, this is the type of stuff that you got to do for Kentucky right now. Everything is going to be hard for a while. Don't expect to be in a rhythm. Where in, Collins out. See if they set up a play to get Frederick to get his first shot off with a dislocated finger. You see the tape on his right hand says it still hurts him to shoot. Seven on the shot clock. Where baseline extends that right arm. Great pass to Sheboy. And as the shot clock expired, he threw it down. Really good job by Ware, Ravi. To drive the baseline, keep his composure, and find his buddy at the front of the rim. The defensive play by Wheeler maybe, maybe has flipped this game for Kentucky. We shall see. In the midst of a 6-0 run. Jackson pulls up. No good. Rebound out of bounds. It'll stick with South Carolina. What I'm talking about by Lance Ware, it's hard to play those two bigs together because, the, boy, that paint gets really crap. Lamont Paris took him out of the game and set him down, and he never responded. He never showed fight back. He never showed maturity in that ball game. He's a talented kid. So, again, how's he going to respond tonight? I have my eyes on because if he doesn't respond well, then is it a trend? 
But with five points tonight, I like how hard he's playing. I think he's learned the lesson. And another three ball drops for a club that does not shoot the three ball well. Michi Johnson knocked that down. And give Benjamin Bozeman's for Donk a lot of credit. He went down on his backside and found an open man who knocked down a three and slowed this Kentucky rebound. Reeves launches with the rotation no good. Oscar picked it up. Frederick's been in. He's in the plus minus, he's doing well. He hasn't taken a shot yet. And he found Shibwe, and that's going to be on Bozeman's for Donk underneath. Hey, Ravi, while we, while we have a second, I want to give a, a shout-out to a young man from Louisville, Kentucky. Seven years old. His name is Reed Claypool. Been diagnosed with a brain tumor. He's a huge, huge Kentucky Wildcat fan. Getting ready to start treatment for the next 30 days. So, Reed, if you're watching, my man, I want you to know I'm praying for you every day. And I know this Kentucky team is a big part of your life, so hang in there. I know you're a courageous guy. Our thoughts are with you, Reed Claypool. I'll tell you this, Reed loved what he just saw there from where with that follow dunk. And we're certainly all going to think about Reed and his story. Ravi, remember Kentucky in the preseason, John Calipari was talking about block shots and winning those wars around the rim. Well, you got to win them on both ends. And Lance Ware just gets a running start, no body on 55 in white. But Kentucky and SEC player, Ravi, they're only averaging three blocks per game. Yeah. That, number, that number should at least double, if not get to seven or eight. This was blocked University for yes, a long, long time. Yes. G.G. Jackson, he's calling for it. He's got Xavier Wheeler on him right now. And instead, Shibwe with a pick. Look at Shibwe dribble all the way to the basket wow. and a dunk. Point guard, Oscar Shibwe. Kentucky within six. And again, Wheeler on Jackson, giving up about seven inches. And Jackson will get fouled. They will not call it. It's on the floor. No basket. So again, South Carolina putting Oscar Shibwe in ball screen. He does a good job of a little bit of a quick drop coverage in the hot hands. And how about the handle for Oscar Shibwe through traffic? Really well done by Oscar Shibwe. Lance Ware was rotating over as that second guy. And Shibwe with the rip and the run. It has been Kentucky's defense that is getting them back in this ball game. Reeves picks up his first. Did they read my graphic at a timeout? I think somebody got that message to Kyle. Maybe the duck. <laughs> Could have been the duck. <laughs> the duck. Before it became a sandwich. That ball is off the iron. Shibwe is starting to pile up those rebounds. And they're going to get a foul underneath. Me or you, Jimmy? You want it or me? I'll take it. You got it, buddy. Yeah, NBA Wednesday doubleheader. Giannis and the Bucks face Trey Young and the Hawks at 7.30 Eastern. Then... It's up to Miles City for Nikola Jokic and the Western Conference leading Nuggets hosting Chris Paul and the Suns. Our coverage tips with NBA Countdown at 7 on ESPN and the app. Frederick knocks down a shot after Jimmy nailed the promo. And that's a great sign for Kentucky. Daniel Heck and Sanford picked up the foul on Shibwe, and it's a four-point game. The offense just looks different with C.J. Frederick on the floor, but you still got to get stops on the other end. Again, one-on-one -on -one offense, Carolina wins the battle. That ends a 12-3 run. Great body control. Meach Johnson Jr. out of Ohio State because there was contact from Shibwe. A good little give and go, and that was... And that looked like it went off of the defender, but the official said it went off of where. May have missed that. Kentucky left Alabama with the student section chanting NIT, NIT. Man, if you're Kentucky, where is your pride? Where's your fight? It wasn't there the first five or six minutes of this game, but it's starting to grow just a little bit. And Sanford, the freshman. Oh, that's pretty. And he got that left arm extended right under Shibway. A little bit of a mismatch for Shibway to have to cover a, a guy that can drive in the middle third. South Carolina doing a good job of moving Shibwe away from the basket on their offensive end. Last couple of games, Oscar Shibwe has been exposed here. Betty Ako and now defensively in this game early. Gets it deep in the paint, lays it up, missed it, goes right after it, throws it up, and there'll be a foul. South Carolina, Ravi, they are circling the post 
when Shibwe posts up. What do I mean by that? They'll start behind and they'll circle in the front, giving different looks for him. But if you stay patient, eventually Shibwe will have an angle. Much more aggressive by Shibwe. He misses the first one, but his second jump is a little quicker than everybody else around him. He had a streak of 46 games as a Kentucky Wildcat. Had never been out rebounded by an opposing player. Come to a screeching halt Saturday in Tuscaloosa. Chibwe's first free throw is good. Chibwe, one of seven in that game against Alabama. This will be his tenth point if he can convert the free throw, and he does. I press a little bit right now if I'm Cal. You get up and make sure your defense stays alert. Put some pressure on this Carolina team that's very happy playing deliberate basketball on your home floor. There you go. Get after it. Frederick's good defense came back, and he got his fingers on that. And Kentucky score off their run game. Just another very patient push by Wheeler. Collins pulls up. That's no good. And that's on the big body of Gray. Move Chibwe. Out of the paint. Richie Jackson, who's got a lot more experience than Jackson, tell him to move to the other side. Ball sticking to Brown's hand, seven on the shot clock, without a lot of movement. Johnson, Bam. straight on three over Collins, a backbreaker. Again, that's a guy came in tonight, 29 out of 94 from three, 30%. But you don't defend early. Bonus for South Carolina. They, they start seeing a big rim. He's got three yeah. threes. Nice curl. Frederick throws it up, and we're going to have a foul. Was it on the shooter, Frederick, or was it on Shibwe, who was thrown from underneath the basket? Hayden Brown picks up the foul. Ravi South Carolina is now five out of eight, but baseline out of bounds under, and just on his one basket on this game tonight. He's always got a quick trigger, and if Cal talked about this today. C.J. Frederick's feel, his IQ, his understanding of spacing the Tom Crean's point is very important, but Kentucky's got to get in the paint and get kick out threes. And can Frederick be the guy that's found on the back side of those paint touches? And Oscar wanted to shoot it, yeah. and he does. Shibwe's putting up big numbers here in the first half. 12 points, 8 rebounds. He has a focus and a fire about him that probably has burned, at least it should have, since Saturday night. And he has answered the call from a poor performance. Brown, great pass, Gray. Blocked from behind. Good help that time from Reeves. When somebody says, like, Green, I'm not a music guy, what does that mean? Like he never he doesn't listen to any music? No. He's always watching ball. <laughs> like, always watching ball. Every time I talk to him or something on social media, that guy is all about ball. Turn on the radio. Let's get a little XM or serious I, I, something I up there. No, country music might be <laughs> on his playlist. Oh Bam. man, what Johnson happened? is on fire! Wow. I see you, Michi. I don't know who you're hollering at. You kind of look like you're hollering at me, but wow. No fear from the Gamecocks in Rupp. Fourth three-pointer of the first half. Michi Johnson, 16, knocking another one down for Kentucky. It's 36-28, eight-point game, 90 seconds to go. And because of that three-ball falling, Kentucky now, they got to come up that step or two higher, which now opens up that drive game for South Carolina. And guard the ball, guard the ball, guard the ball. G.G. Jackson, quick pull up, high arc, that is pretty. He's really good, is he not? A little, he's a more physical version of Brandon Miller in Alabama. 
Now he is fighting for his spot tonight, and he had no fight against Tennessee. So the kid learned the lesson and brought it to the next game. I love that. Yeah, he's got seven. Reeves again in, and in it stays. Now Kentucky is getting just as good a looks as they want in this ball game. And South Carolina's defense has been a mystery at times as well. And Kentucky now starting to take advantage of it. But you got to get your own stops right now. You're about to give up 40 to a South Carolina team in the first half. That's they right. just did. Yeah, there it is. Points 39 and 40 from Brown. Way too easy for South Carolina tonight. They're up by 10. Ravi, that simple offense. Just throw the ball to isolation let a guy drive. Hand it off to Frederick. Runner is good. But Frederick and Reeves on the floor at the same time, both shooting freely. It's a little different offense for Kentucky. Last shot time for South Carolina. Johnson alley -oop. What a pass. Gray throws it down. And what an end to the first half. Boy, South Carolina comes in here after getting waxed by Tennessee. And they are the team that makes the statement. Ravi again. Kentucky's inability to guard the ball the last eight seconds. South Carolina is in really good possession position with 20 minutes to go. Yeah, that guy right there, Michi Johnson. He also is the team leader in assists on the season, and he's got four assists tonight to go with the 16 points. His season high is 25. Kentucky's best offense came second half of the first half, and it was when Frederick and Reeves were on the floor, and they start the second half. And they're gonna get gray there with a movement and a chart and a foul on Wheeler South Carolina sits there more than fair share of off-ball screens They're not heavy on ball screen defense although they've gone to it tonight because of what Alabama did to Kentucky But you've got to stay down in a stance and defend for a good 20 25 seconds if you're Kentucky in the second half Frederick from the free throw line. Yeah. Got it. Take all of those that you can get if you see Jay Frederick and Antonio Reeves. Important to note that Casey Wallace out with a lower back injury, questionable to return in the second half. That Kentucky bench is getting shorter and shorter. Sure is. Frederick's got six now. Reeves has eight. Brown in the paint. Collins. Yeah, you know Michi off that first half is gonna start to launch a little bit He said he got hit on the leg and that shot was way off. She way open underneath. They find him He got bumped and he can't make the shot, but he'll shoot two from the line We'll talk about with CJ Frederick with an injured right shooting finger that got dislocated but He's so good at coming off a little bit of a double screen on the weak side kind of a staggered screen into a dribble handoff and CJ Frederick I think is money. Not only is a three-point shooter, but that pull-up jump shot changes the Kentucky offense when he's on the floor. Hadn't played since December 28th. He missed three games. That's Oscar Shibwe. Rattles in the first free throw. 13 points now. He's three of three from the strike. And congratulations to C.J. Frederick, who asked yeah. his longtime girlfriend, Blair Green, off the women's team here at Kentucky to marry him over Christmas. And she said yes. Six point game. There is no way, no way Kentucky can give up 42 points again in the second half. It feels like a turning point, a, a directional point in Kentucky's season this second 20 minutes. Second three-pointer that was way off the park. That time it was Brown. Wheeler goes behind his back as Shibwe plants himself in the paint. Now comes out. That's not a great pass from Wheeler. He ran out of room. And as a left-hander, he had to kind of throw it with his offhand. Had nothing on it. Threw it right out of bounds. Yeah, if you're a left-handed guard and you're driving down the right side, you have to make darn sure there's a clear path to your play. He took the ball right into traffic and got ate up because of it. The bounce pass that got deflected away, and it's another turnover. Reeves on the run out, alley oop to Shibwe. Can't convert it. That's a really good pass by Reeves, and Oscar couldn't get it done.
Jackson good. all the way. Yes, sir. And he's going to go to the line. And we'll have a chance for a three-point play. Ooh. He is very good. This kid should be a senior in high school, reclassified, just turned 18 years old in December. And he's just winning his one-on-one -on -one battle. That's just a blow-by on Antonio against Antonio Reeves. And he wins the collision at the rim. And a guy that is being projected as a first-round draft pick. And what that NBA draft does. Right, we had a great conversation with Lamont Paris today. They now, they, they draft and stash. They look at a kid like Gigi Jackson. Where will he be two or three years from now? You can see his potential in this game. Sure can. Jackson is 6'9", 215. Can't convert the free throw. Once again, the lead pushed to eight. Kentucky shot 50% in the first half. That's good enough to be in the lead on your home floor. But they have not defended at the level that you have to defend at in this league. Nope, now they got a two-on-one here with Beachy and Gigi, and it's Jackson to the oh, hole and a finger roll. This kid, he looks like a pro. Yeah, he looks like a pro in his pro scouts here. I love his body. He, he might be closer to 220. He's a physical kid, can handle it, shoot it. And he's fighting, he's competing, which he did not do against Tennessee on Saturday. And he had a game against Vanderbilt last week as well. He went 0 for 7 from 3 as Reeves pulls up quickly and knocks that down. And he got to defend because Antonio Reeves just went right at his business. He had no fight back defensively. Telling Lamont Paris that he's tired. He only played three minutes in the second half. How are you tired? Wide open. Carter, yeah, wide open is right. And that's off. And the loose ball right to Brown. He missed the layup, but he followed it back up. But where are the white jerseys underneath? Yeah, where's the defensive talk for, for Kentucky to get confused on a switch? And allow a three-point shooter to come off completely clean. We were the pull-up. That's too strong. And no offensive work for the Kentucky Wildcats. And Carolina content to walk the ball up the floor. They're having a low turnover game. Really putting pressure on Kentucky's defense to answer the call with 16 to go. Brown, Gray, blocked. Collins got it. And Wheeler, this is Frederick, and a three. Yeah. Straight on, switch. He has to stay on the floor, C.J. Frederick. He's a good position defender, but the ability he showed right there is desperate right now for Kentucky to grab hold of. Signs of life and a lot of energy from Frederick, who again has missed the last three games. Rabbi, I'm with you. Reeves on one of the team. They are talented. They are young. They are tough. They're the real deal. The Rabbi, they, 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 Alabama has had a couple of selfish dudes three years. There's none right now. There's not one guy. No, and they're deep. They are you deep. You bring man. Quinterly in, and he's recovering. Yes. Boy, what a boost off the bench. They don't turn it over very much, and they can play physical. Seven-point game. And I said during that game on Saturday that, it, that it, to me the bigger issue was not Kentucky's offense. It's their defense. And Kentucky Twitter fan base, which I love, you would have thought I say Kentucky's colors are Carolina blue. But it's the truth. It's the, the defense is the biggest issue for this Kentucky team. Oh, how about again? Hank and Sanford as the shot clock expired. In this game, they've knocked down a three. The shot clock went from one to zero. South Carolina has made some guarded shots. They got a lot of open shots early. The confidence has grown. And then that's a big one. You punch the paint a little bit, almost a turnover. And then the kick out, just a late recovery. See, see, Kentucky goes to Knoxville on Saturday. And after a humbling loss to Alabama, they find themselves down 10 to a South Carolina team that comes in 7-8 and eight on the season and 0-2 oh and two in the conference. And they come in South Carolina averaging 64 points per game. They're 13 below their average with 15 minutes to go. Reeves and Frederick getting a lot of time for Kentucky. That shot no good. And hustled by Lance Ware, but out of bounds. Off the missed shot. So South Carolina in its career at Rupp is 2-26. and 26. And they're not alone coming into Rupp Arena and struggling. Kentucky is trying to protect a 28-game home winning streak. A 
lot of late clock shot execution for South Carolina and maybe a walk there and it is Michi Johnson at his core he's a driver now he's knocking down the three ball tonight but even as a driver against Kentucky's defense the ball's got to get side to side at least once to try to get Kentucky in a rotation seventh turnover the game South Carolina Wheeler prefers to go to his left. He throws up a soft one that rolls around and down. Sophia Wheeler's fourth point. Probably playing his best basketball the last couple of ball games since he's been at Kentucky. Severe Wheeler. G.G. Jackson on the bench right now for South Carolina. Chico Carter has been an outstanding three point shooter. 50%, number two in red. Five on the shot clock, and they're far away from the basket. Will they knock down another one? Yes, they will! Wow! And it is the guy that has been a thorn all night, Michi Johnson Jr. If you are Kentucky, you cannot get your head down because they just hit a, a dagger three. You've got to keep playing. Frederick alley -oop to where? Athletic. And he throws it up and in. He just out jumped the yeah, defender on that one. And John Calipari, because of a short pinch, having to play Shibwe and Ware a lot of minutes tonight together. Typically, that equates to a very crowded offense for the Kentucky team. Well, that's it. I count the fourth shot clock expiring shot that South Carolina's made tonight. Three of them have been threes. Richie Johnson has five three-pointers. Oh, another one drops down and in, and that's the guy you expect to make him. Well, how many are you going to let, let him make before you switch out high and stay high and make him beat you off the bounce? That's the ninth made three-pointer for South Carolina in this game. Nine of 15. They're shooting 60% from deep. Wheeler, a lot of dribbling, and Frederick nearly had to go out of bounds. He's driving, looking at Shibwe. Gonna get a foul underneath. Oscar will shoot two. Watch South Carolina knocking down the three ball. Michi Johnson just he gets severe Wheeler chasing him. He just backs up. That's just a hard guarded three. But again, it all started to me in the first half when the visitors got their uh, momentum going. And Daniel Reeves makes a mistake by going under. You cannot go under anymore if you're Kentucky on any type of ball screen or off ball screen by the shooters, especially trying to defend number five Michi Johnson. What a shooting exhibition South Carolina is putting on tonight. 60% from three. Nine of 15. And they come in a 31% three-point shooting club. They're not easy, Jimmy. These are contested they are. shots. A, a lot of them have been. Yes. The early ones were wide open, and that's why they start yeah. making contested ones as well. Yeah. The confidence goes up. Sheetway yeah. knocks down the free throw. Now they're missing the first. It's very similar to working with you and getting to that first TV timeout. Right. And once you're there, then it's, yeah, <laughs> you got a shot. Right. Sky's the winner. No oh, wow. rip. Yep. Wheeler with a pocket right there on right. Wheeler tried to change the game in the first half with a defensive play. Can he do it again in the second half? G.G. Jackson back in the game. Livingston on the floor now for the first time in a long time for Kentucky. You know he wants to get it up right now. Gonna dance with it and probably fire. Jackson to the hole again. Yeah, he is hard to guard. Love that. Love that line by you. I borrowed that. I heard that once. <laughs> Back in the it was very popular in like the 80s, mid-80s, hard to guard. <laughs> well, this kid certainly is. We've talked about he's all of 6'9 and 215. He's very right-handed, but he's very strong and determined and forceful through contact with his right hand. He's knocked down the three, the mid-range, he's driven the ball, he's gotten fouled. The complete package tonight on the offensive end. So Jackson and Livingston, who will be right to his right, 24 and white, played a competitive game in high school, Oak Hill. And Jackson went on the floor and started mouthing off at Johnson because he had heard that Johnson had done the same thing before the game started. Hey, I heard that Gigi is talking trash about you. So Livingston went on the floor and started 
chirping at him, and Gigi Jackson's like, wait a minute, what? What did I do? That lasted the entire game. And Livingston's team ended up winning. They kind of chuckled about it now, and I emphasize kind of. Shebray threw it up. Gray got him on the arm. He'll shoot two. Good job by Shebray to stay low on his offensive move. South Carolina comes in, ravaging, averaging 64 points. Ravaging? Ravaging. That's you. Kentucky fans aren't going to appreciate this, but in 2015, he was assistant on that Wisconsin team at the Final Four that ended Kentucky's season at 38 0. Yeah. Carl Anthony Towns, the Harrison brothers. Eulis was there. That team was loaded. 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 Shibwe pulls him within 10. I think you got to remind everybody that's a huge number. 27 to 3. They've outscored him from three point land. Every free throw opportunity is huge for Kentucky as Oscar's going to have to go get probably a blood issue on the elbow, a scratch. Get that thing wrapped up and go back out and shoot it. By the way, he, he uses twice as much tape to go around his arm than yours would. And well, why are you going to go there? It's just an observation. Just oh, a, that what that was? <laughs> just, a, just breaking it down. <laughs> Last 45 seconds, you've, you've got me at average, and now you're saying there's, there's, there's the gun show is, yeah, it's not there. <laughs> I like Kentucky with their defensive pressure. Man, you got to do something to change the game, right? Largest lead, 15 points. That came in the first half. South Carolina, 1-7 and seven on the road, 6-1 and one at home. Six seconds on the shot clock. And a wide-open layup that was missed. Offensive rebound and a huge one from Gray. They get a fresh clock. Brown penetrates deep into the paint. He threw it up. He missed offensive rebound. They're going to call the foul on Collins. But how about loose balls going South Carolina's way? I described Hayden Brown as a, a thirsty kid with the ball's in his hand. The ball sticks a little bit. His powerful physical drive and getting the ball in the paint has been a problem for Kentucky in this ball game. Amy Collins can't secure the miss, and Hayden Brown comes up with it. Three fouls now in Kentucky. Where Livingston, they're both back in, as is the guy that has single-handedly shot South Carolina with this lead, Michi Johnson. There's a turnover, and I don't think that Gigi knew who that ball was intended for. Remember to my point about Kentucky's lack of protecting the rim defense, the lack of block shots, the lack of making life hard on you. South Carolina is shooting 75% at the rim against Kentucky. That's an alarmingly high number to try to overcome if you're Kentucky. Livingston is 0 for 1. He has no points. Here he tries to penetrate, takes it all the way to the basket and lays it up and in. I like Livingston driving the ball that time much more than the last couple of times he's driven it. He was physical, he covered up, not allowing hot hands to interrupt. And now Rupp tries to affect this game. Lead down to 7. Johnson put turnaround. That's no good. He got the rebound and he put it in. To your point, quicker to the ball, right? South Carolina. That's the rebound numbers in this game, Rowdy. 17 to 24 in favor of the visitors. Reeves over Gray. Short. That time Livingston hustled and picked up a rare offensive rebound for Kentucky. This middle ball screen offense for Kentucky trying to get Wheeler downhill to his left. Uh, tough shot over Gray, but when he went, yeah. that left it open for Sheboy. Sheboy just follows the drive. And has a highway rebound by Sheboy. Just read the traffic, follow the traffic flow to the front of the rim. Can Kentucky get back-to-back -back stops and back-to-back -back makes? Brown wide open three too strong he hustled for who's that going to be off of Reeves and it'll be South Carolina ball 
And watch Kentucky Livingston. Now this is a college drive as opposed to a high school drive. He got low. He got his shoulder into the defender a little bit. He covered the ball up. And Oscar Shibwe just follow the drive, follow the traffic, read the traffic, boom, dominate the traffic at the rim. Good middle ball screen offense out of Kentucky. Kentucky switches shooters. Reeves goes to the bench. Frederick is back in the game. Under 10 to go. 61-54 South Carolina. And where does Lamont Paris go to when he needs a basket right now? Brandon Miller would be option one, right? With G.G. Jackson. Miller's on Alabama, but yes, I know what you're I mean, saying. G.G. Yeah, Jackson. <laughs> Shot was from near half court. Michi Johnson's cooled off a little bit. Feels like a big part of this game. Seven-point lead, nine minutes to go. Little ball screen again. And here it comes. Wheeler, Shibwe. And they got five on the shot clock. Wheeler penetrates, throws up. A nice shot off the winner. A little running hook shot for Sophia Wheeler. Boy, Wheeler was very determined to get to his left paw, was he not? A tough running layup by Wheeler. Five-point game, Jimmy. Proud on its feet here at Rupp. And a timeout for South Carolina. Feels like a big spot in this game. And Mont Paris said, let's talk about it. An 8-2 run. Well, Sevier in the half, 37%, shooting 52 for the game. But remember, they were at 60% in the first half. So they cooled off a little bit. And we gave you the 2 and 26 number and rough 2 and 29 all time at Kentucky. You gotta go back to January 31 of 09, the last time they won. They've lost eight straight here. They've been in control the entire game. And that's being tested right now with eight minutes to go. She way good defense that time, and Ware picks it up. They're gonna get a foul. Frederick ends up on the ground. It is called against South Carolina. And it looks like it is going to be against Bozeman's Verdun. So That's his third. Yeah, the Kentucky wins that ATO after timeout. Their defense was tough. Of course, they tough, too. And now where does Calipari go for points? He has got 19, the leading scorer. Frederick's had a good game so far. Now he looks to dump it down to 34. They double him. Swing, swing. This has been the play that's worked. They set that high screen, and Wheeler, he just says, I'm going myself this time. Throws it up, and that nearly went in, but it's on the floor. I like that, because you get a heavy dose of ball screen on Wheeler. South Carolina now can start changing up, can even trapping. So John Calipari says, no ball screen. I don't want any help defense factoring on Wheeler. And he wins the race to the left side. Hayden Brown, your guy, the leader on that team, has got four yeah. fouls. He competes, Brown does, like you're supposed to compete in the SEC. So he had it there, and he just lost it out of bounds. Wheeler missed another free throw. The free throw shooting has been killing Kentucky. You made the point to me earlier, though, one of the critical pieces for Kentucky, turn the page. Forget about yes. this free throw. Sometimes they seem to get mired in some of the things that don't go right. Well, that's the sign of a team that needs to grow up. And there's, they're not the only team in the country that gets bothered when things don't go their way. But when you get sensitive in this league, you get a two or three game losing streak stuck on you in a heartbeat. With a hand up, Wheeler shot was way off. Ware doing work underneath, lays it up, no good. And it's South Carolina ball. Ready, can't miss those shots. Not if you're Kentucky. You're down right now. Kentucky, 12 points they left off the table at Alabama inability to finish now, that was a chance to get it to three GG misses Shibwe and he go up for it yeah they're gonna get a foul no jump ball and that's gonna be Kentucky's basketball you call the foul it looked like Shibwe after Jackson had pulled the ball away was in a position to commit a foul we'll appreciate GG Jackson to keep his eyes up that's a foul on Oscar Shibwe that Kentucky with the advantage. That ball was never tied up enough to call a jump ball, in my opinion. Either way, Kentucky ball. We're probably going to see another ball screen for Wheeler. It's been their best offense in the second half. 
Frederick throws it up. Soft touch, C.J. Frederick, and they are within three, which is the first time they've been that close since it was five to two. That's option two in the second half. C.J. Frederick working off of a pin down into a curl, wrapping that screen into a jump shot. Richie Johnson too strong. He is able to pick up that loose ball and knock it in. Was he out of bounds and coming back in, or did he stay in no, bounds? That, that's okay, though, because his natural momentum is what took him out. He didn't choose to go out of bounds on his own. It's a legal play because he established himself back on the floor. But a good, a good quick highs by you. Can on the shot clock. The handoff to Savir Wheeler and where with a flush. He's out of bounds. Yeah, he right on the he, cut. he didn't do that naturally. He, no, he came from out absolutely. of bounds. Absolutely. You cannot make a, a cut out of the corner and step on that baseline out of bounds. Just not knowing the geography of the floor. I like the cut, but I don't like the execution right there. Mm. Mont Paris making sure somebody else brings it up other than the guy that Severe Wheeler is guarding with a great respect for the ball pressure that Wheeler can put on him. Hey, Michi Johnson knocks down another. Michi Johnson has got six three point field goals tonight. Rabbi, that is great action for Michi Johnson. To work off of a screen right back down into a pin down rescreen to free him up. Feed the hot hand. Lamont Paris is doing it. 26 points for Michi Johnson. So it's 26, a career high. Livingston, no good. Shibwe right back up with it, and he will shoot free throws. Greg, let's talk about the action for South Carolina. Screen, rescreen. Watch what happens right here. There's gonna be a screen and a rescreen to come right back off of it. Go get him. Bam. Yeah, Severe Wheeler was put in a bind, but that's really good, tough action to defend on a guy that's seen a big rim and rup. And that is a play that the Kentucky Wildcats knew was they coming. Sure did. They yeah. practiced defending that during their shoot around today. But it's a hard cover. Michi Johnson made it. His first cut is what set it up. It's such a hard scoring cut. Wheeler had to run in front of him to take away the possible pass for a layup, and he go right back down and get him with a headhunter screen. Now give me a little context. Just bam, right there. South Carolina was supposed to be the worst team in the conference. Yes. They're leading Kentucky late in the game. Is this more about Kentucky, more about South Carolina? What's this game about right now? It feels like a must win for Kentucky, does it not? And it all started, to me, the tone was set, the rules of the game were set in the first seven or eight minutes when Kentucky defensively just gave South Carolina a hot start. Now, they have fought back, but does Kentucky have enough stuff in their gut right now to win a hard, what has turned into a body blow game? Michi Johnson scored the last seven for South Carolina. Are you, are you saying Kentucky's closer to South Carolina than Kentucky is to Alabama, Tennessee, and Arkansas? Yeah, right now they are. Yeah, right now they are. And there's a, a big gap in this league, first of all, between Alabama, Tennessee, and everyone else. Brown spin move, lost it, and they regain it. They're getting all the loose balls. Gray, that shot was blocked by Shebe right as the shot clock hits zero. And a rare shot block by Kentucky. If you're South Carolina right now, get dialed in on C.J. Frederick working off of a pin down and get dialed in on your middle ball screen action between Oscar Shibway and Severe Wheeler. Those are the two actions that Cal continues to go to. And he's got shooters now with Frederick and Reeves on the floor again. We're at the four minute, 26 second mark. Good job. Of Wheeler is open and that one is off to the right. Rebbe is a good job of caboosing C.J. Frederick like a train track. Just caboose the guy and stay on his numbers, and they chase Frederick off. Didn't give him a clean look. Kentucky will pick up full court. This is dangerous. Richie Johnson's having the game of his life. He is. 9 of 15 overall, 6 of 9 from 3, 26 points.
JJ buries a three, and that is huge. It all starts, though, with Kentucky's inability to control the basketball. They allowed South Carolina off of a ball screen, Rabbi, to turn the corner. And once they but has carried them all night, they are shooting 58% from three-point land for the game. They're 11 of 19. They're shooting 50% for the game. They're looking for their third win all time here in Kentucky. And Kentucky has not started one and three in conference play since 86-87. This place has gone quiet. Jackson and Johnson have 42 points between them for South Carolina. And Collins to Reeves, three. Got it. Well, it felt like a must, did it not? Kind of a broken offensive series that time, but you stick the corner. And I love the maturity that G.G. Jackson has shown tonight to come back off of a horrible game with bad body language. The coach called him out. An 18-year-old freshman has responded under the bright lights tonight on the road. He and Michi Johnson have been fantastic. And highlighting the loss of Jacob Toppin, because he is a defensive yes. stopper. Yep. Obviously not available for Kentucky tonight. One second on the shot clock. They did not get that one off. Brown needed to shoot it when he got it, and he didn't. The only good thing about that possession for South Carolina, it did not end in a live ball turnover, and they used the entire 30 seconds. Yeah. Eight-point game. To your point, every trip for Kentucky feels like a must-make. Reeves throws it up. Kind of an alley-oop, but then they got to shoot it because Sheboy was being guarded by Gray. Did not like the shot by Reeves. It's one thing to catch it going to his natural shoulder. That time he's going to his offhand, shooting a floater. 2.30 to go, an eight-point South Carolina lead over Kentucky at Rupp Arena. That is South Carolina. You cannot have a live ball turnover and allow a run out. And here you got a chance if you're Kentucky. What a play by Collins. Gray's on the floor, so they have numbers. Reeves, three. No good. Collins, the follow and the foul. Chance for a three-point play as Gray was very slow in getting back because he was banged up. And both defensively and offensively, you got a chance to see Damian Collins' leaping ability. Hayden Brown just fouled out. And a huge play by Damian Collins. The first shot doesn't go, but because Kentucky's playing five on four, they're just outnumbered. And the length of Collins takes over. And this is why it's five on four. Gray goes up and comes down kind of awkwardly right there. If it's a cramp, but the leg went straight. Allow Kentucky to have numbers. A poor free throw shooting team on the season. Kentucky needs them all right now. It's Damian Collins, and that wasn't good. Collins has struggled all year. He hasn't taken a lot of free throws. Not right, six point game, Jimmy. Two minutes to go, and they're going to start fouling Reeves. Nine o'clock Eastern time. John Paul Jones Arena, 13th ranked Virginia. The Cavaliers will get North Carolina. Armando Baycott presents all sorts of problems. Speakman's been outstanding for Virginia all year. The experience and the defense of Virginia. That's tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern time. Well, how about the fall of both North Carolina and Kentucky from preseason to being not ranked right now? Ten days into January. Kentucky playing the fouling game with 2.06 to go. We ran John Calipari's soundbite after the Alabama game where I said to the effect, I hope we're not this bad. Well, you got two minutes to answer that question. Oh, almost, was it not? It was. But they'll use all 30. I want the ball in the hands of G.G. Jackson. To finish his possessions. I think he has the ability to at least get fouled. He's tucked away in his left corner. H.E. Johnson takes it himself. That ball's deflected. And another shot clock violation. So better defense. They didn't get it to G.G. Jackson. Yeah, it was. But again, another possession. You're going to find the good and bad. Another possession that they don't get a live ball turnover. And they use the entire shot clock. It's going to come into play as well. South Carolina, right? They, they've done a good job on the boards tonight. 31 to 25. They have to limit Kentucky to one shot. And South Carolina's not a great free throw shooting team. They shoot 62%. This is going to become a free throw shooting contest for them down the stretch. Wheeler 
He floats and knocks it down. Now Kentucky goes horns into a dive into a ball screen for Wheeler. Four-point game. Well, you better be careful with this Oh, ball. Wheeler had it and just lost it. I do not like your South Carolina meets you with the pressure of Wheeler up into his grill, bringing that ball up. Now, this is the biggest trip of the night for South Carolina. Right with Collins on him. The drive, tough shot. Sheboy has it. And they got numbers. Two South Carolina guys behind. Frederick, three. Got it! A one-point game. Lamont has one timeout left if he wants it. Boy, the ability of Frederick to sprint to that corner and fire one with confidence. Bad finger and all. That's short. Offensive rebound. We're going to have a foul. And that's going to send to the free throw line Jacoby Wright. We have talked about the importance of C.J. Frederick being on the floor because of this right here. The sprint to that far wide slot and the confidence to fire one up. He's got a bad hand and a bad finger on the shot hand, but no hesitation. That's a beautiful rise and release and a swagger from C.J. Frederick. These free throws are huge. Jacoby right on the season, 15 of 19. Their best free throw shooter at 79%, and that looked good from Jump Street. Game home winning streak on the line for Kentucky. Right to make it a three point game. In the ball screen, Wheeler getting downhill probably. Well, he went quickly and he wow. threw it away. Rice stepped right in and picked it off. And he got the timeout before he went out of bounds, or is there going to be a foul? Now he got the timeout. And there was three things happening there. Pull within one or tie the game with a three. Instead, they turn it over. Got to have possession in bounds to call a timeout. But that foot was down for South Carolina. For Kentucky right here. Gamble hot right now. Try to get a steal. Oh, he yeah. lost it. How about wow. that? He's been outstanding all night. And Michi Johnson just dropped the ball and it rolled out of bounds. He did it right there. Hits him in the bread basket. Severe replay call that's a quick hitter because you still have plenty of time to score make it a one-point game Apply your defensive pressure make it a fouling game But man, you'd love to squeeze one off right now if you're CJ Frederick the problem is can he shake loose? Let's see what Wheeler does Green rescreen coming from behind let it fly Frederick does too strong she they got five on the shot clock and the game clock. Reeves throws it up. That's going to be short. Collins has it. They got one more chance. Ball no, game. they don't. That's wow. the ball game. South Carolina hangs on and wins 71-68. The 28-game home winning streak is over. And for just the third time.